Welcome again to Test Math Lesson. Test Math Lesson. We play with numbers. Yeah. My name is Felix Texan, your humble math teacher. If today is your first time of following my lesson, just do this. To notify you anytime I load a new lesson. Today we are going to solve mathematics questions that we asked during the grand finale of Ghana National Science and Math Quiz NSMQ 2023. And this competition was between Presbyterian Boys Junior High School, Legon, Ashimota Senior High School, and Opoku Uwari Senior High School. So let's get there and look at how they solve the question. To listen to the preamble that were given to this three school so let's listen to the preamble next set 30 seconds with a very short preamble preamble to all schools preamble solve the given equation for x that's the preamble i'm sure this one you heard so presbyterian boys x raised to the power x is equal to 3 raised to the power 81 Party. X is equal to 27. You're right. Yes. They had it correct. How did they manage to get 27? Let's solve it together. X exponent X is equal to 3 exponent 81. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to solve for the right hand side. So with this case, we are going to find a number that you multiply by the base 3, which will give us the exponent 81. Okay, so 3 times 27 will give us 81. So I'm going to write this as So from this side, from this side, I'm going to apply the third law of indices. I'm going to apply the third law of indices. With the third law of indices says that A exponent nm is equal to as A exponent m bracket open n bracket close. So this is the law, this is the third law that we are going to solve for this equation. So we are going to write this as So what we are going to do is a uh, is that we want to make the base here to be equal to as the exponent. So when you realize this, this base here is not equal to as the exponent. So what you're going to do is that 3 exponent 3 will give us 27. You're going to have three exponent 3 will give us 27 exponent 27. So we can say that 3 exponent, so here we can say that 3 exponent 81 is equal to as 27 exponent 27. So x exponent x is equal to 27 exponent 27, where the basis, where the base and exponent are the same. And look at this one too, the base and the exponent are the same. So this one go for this and this one also go for this so therefore x is equal to 
27. So this was the answer that Preset Legon gave us. Now let's listen to the question that goes to Achimota Senior High School. Achimota School with the same preamble. X raised to the power of X is equal to 2 raised to the power 64. Walter? X is equal to 16. You are right. Yes. Achimota Senior High School also had it correct. So, what was the answer? 16. The question says that x exponent x is equal to 2 exponent 64. x exponent x is equal to 2 exponent 64. So, we are going to rewrite this as. For the right hand side, I will have equal to what number will you multiply by 2 to give us 64? And when you divide 64 by 2, it will give us 32. So 2 times 32 will give us 64. I'm going to use 2 exponent 2 times 32. Remember again, it, it is the same question that they are answering, the same preamble that goes to the same school. So they are using the same method. So what's the next thing? We are going to apply the third law of indices here. This says that a exponent mn is equal to as a exponent m bracket open n bracket close. So this is the third law of our indices. So let's rewrite this nice expression as as two exponent sixty four is equal to as now two exponent two two exponent two give us four exponent. 32. I need to break this one down again. Okay, so I'm going to have 2 exponent 64, which is equal to 4 exponent 2 into bracket 16, bracket close, because 2 times 16 will give us 32, right? We are going to rewrite this as 2 exponent 64 is equal to as 4 exponent 2 will give us 16 16 we are left with part 16 so in this case we have 16 as a base 16 as the exponent so they are the same so we say that s exponent x is equal to as 16 exponent 16 therefore s is equal to 16 so Let's listen to the question that was given to Opokuware Senior High School. Opokuware School with the same preamble x raised to the power x is equal to 4 raised to the power 1024. Yes, Dante. X is equal to 64. That's incorrect. You didn't. Okay. X is 256. Yes. So, Opoku Senior High School was not able to solve his question. So, Prisek solve it as a bonus point. Let's look at how they managed to get the answer. X exponent X is equal to 4 exponent 
1024 wow the exponent is very large okay let's so let's see how we go by it so our solution here is x exponent x is equal to 4 exponent 1024 now we say right hand side Now we have what? 4 exponent 1024. So now I'm going to use 2. Now when I divide 2 by 1024, I'm going to have 512. So write this as 4 exponent 2 times 512. So 2 times 512 will give us 1024, right? So we are going to rewrite this as, remember, they are solving the same equation. So they need to use the same law. So we are using the third law of indices for all the equation. So we are going to write this as, the law says that A exponent N, N is equal to as A exponent N bracket put in n right so now let's rewrite this as 4 exponent 1024 is equal to as 4 exponent 2 bracket open 512 all right now we have this that i want this base here at my right hand side to be equal as the exponent so I'm going to test this. 4 exponent 2 will give a system. It's not the same. So I will write 4 exponent 1024 is equal to us here. 4 exponent 2 will give us 16 exponent 512. I'm going to use 2 again to divide this and see whether I will get the same base and the same exponent. So 2 divided by 512 will give us 256. So 4 exponent 1024 is equal to as 16 exponent 2 bracket open 256. Right. Now let's go, let's move this one. Let's simplify this. So we are going to write this as Sixteen exponent two will give us sixteen exponent two will give us five hundred and fifty six. Good. Exponent. We realize that the base here is equal to as what well the exponent. The base and the exponent are the same. They have the same value. So we say that x exponent x is equal to as. Is equal to is equal to 256 exponent 256. So therefore, x is equal to 256. Right. Wow. So this brings us to the end of round one mathematics question that was asked in NSMQ 2023. Don't forget to like, to share, and comment. See you again in my next lesson. Bye-bye.